that researchers have known since the 60s that there's some humoral substance, something in the ether, they thought back then, that was released from the intestine that affects systemic insulin signaling. And as it turns out, we now know, if we go to the next slide, you know, uh, we've known for 26 years exactly what these hormones are. So here's what's really cool. When you eat mindfully, when you chew your food, when you eat whey protein or pea protein, when you have resveratrol or curcumin, you naturally increase these hormones. And guess what? So bariatric surgeries, does anyone know a friend or family member or have a client or patient that has undergone bariatric surgery? Yeah, we all have. And what did you think? Did they lose weight? Yeah, the most, some. Initially. Initially, then they regained it, yeah, okay. For a long time, and I was under this impression too, that bariatric surgery restricts how much food people can eat. So that's how they lose weight. They're just eating less food, but that's actually only a very small piece of the puzzle. When you undergo bariatric surgery, and there's many different types, round and Y, gastric band, lap band, and so forth, you dramatically change these gut hormones. And guess what? If someone is full-blown type 2 diabetic, meaning they need insulin, 12 hours after the procedure, after the procedure of the surgery, guess what? They don't need insulin. It's done. They're open. Totally normal glycemic. How could that possibly be? They haven't had any oral nutrition. They just had TPS. They haven't been taking their nutrients. Well, it turns out, by manipulating the order, uh, by changing the, the physical structure of the GI tract, you actually increase these gut hormones. And um, the cool thing, so, so basically, we know bariatric surgery, we have that rebound effect like we've been talking about. Like some people gain a lot of weight back. And, and so, you know, if someone gets a procedure and eats the same foods and adheres to the same lifestyle, it's probably going to shift to the, back to where they were. So it's very invasive, medically expensive. So what we can do here, this is research. Again, this is Nature Reviews Gastroenterology shows. That, you know what? A potential therapy for obesity might be based on the concept of pharmacologically mimicking the hormonal effect of the procedure. And so the pea protein, the whey protein, the fiber, and the polyphenols, and eating mindfully. And I have this tool here talk about it, heart math, heart rate variability. This is probably one of the most effective strategies that you can implement in your clinical practice. And it's very free, utilizing breath. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So if we go to the next slide. So these are the shifts. So you have the round and line, and you see all these different hormones from the gut are increasing over time. 